Hey everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am beyond excited that you are joining me on McCarthy Math 155. You know what? You are the reason that I am here. My mission is to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for you. But you know what? You play a role in this too. Your job is to make sure that you are plugged in into every single lesson. So come on, let's go ahead and jump right into the Mathematical Mindset Creed to get our minds right. This is a safe place to make mistakes. Mistakes help me learn and grow. I am a hard worker. I stick with it until I get it. I am brave. I take charge of my learning. I ask questions when I don't understand. When in doubt, I draw it out, if possible and it's always possible to work it out. I respect and actively listen to the ideas of others. We are ready to learn. Alrighty then, let's get to it and let me teach ya. Hello everybody and welcome to McCarthy Math 155. This is the fifth grade edition. Today we are working on multiplication of numbers with decimals. It's day 64 and let's go ahead and review real quick. We know that when we add or subtract decimals we need to line them up. When we multiply numbers with decimals we need to shift our decimal at the end and when we divide with decimals, we need to shift them to begin. So today we are multiplying, which means that we don't have to worry about our decimal until the end. So right now we have one and six tenths times 49 hundredths. I'm gonna go ahead and write one and six tenths, and nine, four, zero, decimal. Again, the decimal does not have to be lined up at all. We're gonna shift it at the end. So when we're multiplying, we will use a little bit of the multiplication mashup, which you can find for free on YouTube to help you get faster at your multiplication facts. So nine times six would be, we got those nines. Nine, 18, 27, I'm just beginning. 36, 45. 54, so 54, Woo, it's high up here, nice landing dude, 9 times 1 is 9, and 9 plus 5 would be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, now we're going to do three things, we're going to cross out, erase, and place a 0, cross out, erase, and place a a zero. Four times six is four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. So woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Four times one would be four plus two would be six. And that's a zero, so we don't have to worry about that. So add them up. Four, four plus four is eight. And one plus six is seven. Now, here is where we shift our decimal at the end. Let's go ahead and put our temporary decimal right here. And now we're gonna shift it at the end by taking a look at our decimal up here. So right here, how many digits do we have behind this decimal? We have one. Here's another decimal. How many digits do we have there? We have one, two. So one plus two would give us three hops to the left. So, one, two, three. Out with the old, in with the new, and rewrite. So we have decimal, seven, eight, four. I like to put a zero right there. And this would be our product. Okay, go ahead and make sure you've got this copied down and then we'll take a look at number two. For number two, we have nine and eight tenths times 76. So 76 does not have a decimal. When we multiply numbers with decimals, we shift it at the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put nine and eight tenths up top. I'm really just lining up my digits, not even caring about the decimal place here. And multiply. Six times eight. Hey sixes, I just met ya. You're kind of crazy. 6, 12, and 18. 24 and 30. 36 and 40. 2 and 48. So 40 
Eight. Six times nine. Hey sixes, I just met ya. You're kinda crazy. Six, 12, and 18. 24 and 30. 36 and 40. Two and 48. 54. 54 plus four would be 58, yes. Now we cross out, erase, and place a zero. Seven times eight is, it goes like seven, 14, 20, 128, 35, 42, 49, 56. So 56, woo, it's high up here. Nice landed dude. Seven times nine, it goes like seven, 14, 20, 128, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, so 63 plus five would be 68, yes. Add them up. Eight plus zero is eight. Eight plus six is 14, woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. One plus five plus eight is 14. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. And one plus six is seven. Okay, so now we're going to place our temporary decimal right here and go back up to the top. I see a decimal with how many digits? One. And I see no decimal it would be right here, nothing behind it. So one plus nothing equals one hop to the left. One hop, out with the old, in with the new, and rewrite. So we have 744 and 8 tenths is the product. All right. Go ahead and jot down any work that you still need to get copied and then I want you to try number three on your own and then come back to check your work. All right, y'all, number three, we have 12 and 4 tenths times 42 hundredths. Let's go ahead and see how you did because you should have solved this one on your own and now you're back to check your work. So the first thing I would do would be to write down 12 and 4 tenths, write this vertically, and I'm not worried where the decimal is here. I mean, of course it needs to be in the right location, but they don't have to be lined up when we multiply. Okay, two times four is eight. Two times two is four. Two times one is two. Cross out, erase, but there's nothing to erase and place a zero. Four times four would be 16. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. And four times one is four. All right, we're gonna add them up now. Eight plus zero is eight. Four plus six is 10, one plus two plus nine is 12. One plus four is five. So now what do we do? Yeah, we need to shift our decimal over. So place our temporary decimal right there. That's not where it really is. We're just starting there. And let's go back up here. We have one digit behind the decimal there. And how many digits are behind our decimal for the second factor? Two, right? So one plus two equals, equals three hops to the left. So one, two, three, out with the old, in with the new, and rewrite. Five and two hundred eight thousandths should have been your product for number three. So see if you made any mistakes. If you did, make sure you make those adjustments. Jot down whatever that mistake was in your notes for growth. And then I want you to go ahead and try number four on your own and come back to check your work. 
All right, everybody, number four. Go ahead and read it with me. We have four and 43 hundredths times eight hundredths. Now, what's our first step that we need to do? Write it vertically, that's right. And do I care where the decimal is right now? Or that they're lined up? Nope, it's not about lining up the decimals, it's about lining up the digits. So I'm just taking the eight, the zero. Oh, and they happen to be lined up this time. Okay, now let's multiply. Eight times three is 24. Woo, what's up here? Nice landing, dude. Eight times four is 32, plus two is 34, that's right. Woo, what's high up here? Nice landing, dude. Eight times four, 32 plus three is 35. Cool. And these are just zero, so we don't even need to do a second partial product. We can just carry on with this. So we're done here, except that our decimal, we need to figure out where our decimal goes, because we know when we multiply numbers with decimals, we shift them at the end. So that's what we need to do. Here's our temporary decimal. And how many hops am I doing? Four, how do you know? Right, there's two digits here, and there's two digits here, and two plus two equals four, which is the number of hops. Cool, so let's do the hop. One, two, three, four. Out with the old, in with the new, and rewrite. So decimal, three, five, four, and four. And what could we put right over here? A zero, that's right. So this number right here should be your product. Go ahead and make any adjustments if you need to. Did you make any mistakes? If you did, fix them now. And then go ahead and try number five on your own and come back to check your work. All right, everybody, so we are on the last one, number five. I went ahead and I lined it up. Now, I didn't line the decimals up because really there's that invisible ninja decimal right there, which would, if I was adding or subtracting, I'd have to bump this over and line up our decimals. But we're multiplying with decimals, so we're gonna shift it at the end. So six times three is 18. Woo, what's high up here? Nice landing, dude. Six times two is 12 plus one is 13. Woo, what's high up here? Nice landing, dude. Six times four is 24 plus one, 25. Woo, what's high up here? Nice landing, dude. Six times seven is 42 and 42 plus two would be 44. Okay, so we are all set there. I mean, not all set like, as in we have the right answer because we still have to shift our decimal at the end. So where does that temporary decimal go? Okay, behind the ones place, very good. And how many times do we need to shift our decimal? Two times, how do you know? Right, because right here behind the decimal, we have two digits, so two digits. And then there's no digits behind the decimal here, so it's two hops left. One, two. Then we have to do out with the old, in with the new, and rewrite. You got it. So bring down your four, four, five, decimal, three, and eight, and there is your product. Okay, so that is it for number five and for day 64, so you know what? Go ahead and make any adjustments that you need to and jot, if you made any mistakes, fix those, and then I will see you next time on day 65. step at a time I fall and get back up it's proof that I'm trying I know school's my training ground for life I lead and listen by rocking gratitude and kindness I'm gonna change the world by using my, my gifts there's only one me and I was born for greatness my 
you describe because I know I'm 